Welcome back via Zoom. We have the pleasure of speaking to Elaine Clark Sibbery. She is the campaign chair for the steering committee for the new exciting large project we're going to talk about. Elaine, thank you very much for joining me. Well, thank you for inviting me to be on with you today. In October, I know you have a virtual walk and roll. Tell us about what that fundraiser is about. Yeah, this is the, uh, I think it must be the fourth year that we've been doing this now. Um, last year, it had to be virtual, of course. And, and again, this year is so we're not going to have an actual day when everyone gathers um, at Queen's Park to for the walk, but everyone is encouraged to, uh, to, to walk at their own, uh, at their own convenience and um, to raise funds for uh, for Lash Stratford, and those funds will be directed to the Be Belong Become Capital campaign. Well, that tells me the money's staying locally, which is great. Elaine, tell us about the old Montessori school and what plans you have in, for the future of it. Okay, well, it's an exciting project, and um, we're well, the capital campaign is aiming to raise $4.2 million to renovate that site to really become the heart of the La Stratford community. And uh, we purchased it. Um, well, it came out of a number of factors. Uh, we recognized the tremendous need in Perth Huron for greater supports for individuals living with intellectual disabilities. Um, for instance, in 2018, there were 326 individuals who requested uh, residential support or supported independent living. And out of those 326 requests, only 12 could be met. So I think that that really shows the, the tremendous need for support in our local region. Um, also, the core members who are, are the folks who we support and who are at the heart of uh, the community, they had expressed a desire for a wider range of activities. Um, more choice in activities. And they'd also really expressed a desire to share with the wider Stratford community um, all the really good things that make LASH what it is. Um, we also recognized we had a need for greater office space. We, we rent our office space at the moment and it's very cramped. And we also recognized a need to generate more streams of revenue beyond the funding that we receive from the Ministry of Children and Community and Social Services. So how will you do that, Elaine? Okay, so 426 Britannia, it, it's, it's a large facility. It's nearly 20,000 square feet. The upper level is going to be transformed into six individual living suites. Um, and uh, so each each person living there will have their uh, obviously their own their own bedroom, their own bathroom, um, kitchen facilities, and a living area. And there will also be a, a large common area. So um, they will have the choice if they want time on their own. They have that in their own suite. But there's also scope for them to gather together. Um, there'll be a large kitchen up there as well, so they can um, have meals together. Um, so that's the upper level. The lower level will provide lots and lots of room for um, a wide range of activities. And we're going to be able to welcome more people um, into, uh, into the, uh, the building to make, take advantage of those facilities as well as the core members of Plash Stratford. And also there's, um, there's going to be lots of room that's available for rental. So we'll be able to welcome in um, well, service groups, um, clubs, schools, um, there's a large gymnasium. So there's lots of scope for, um, for folks from the wider community to come and um, share the, uh, the space as well, and also to generate rental. Uh, income for us as well. Elaine, it's very exciting. I got to cut you off there. We're actually out of time. I'm very confident you're going to reach your fundraising goals. Thank you so much for joining me. Well, thank you very much. Thank you, Peter.